All right, we'll give you a quick overview of the functional uh, features of our, of our cabinet design, uh, and then if you find that that might work for you, uh, the next video will be more technical details so we can get into the finer grain stuff. All right, uh, we've designed a cabinet style UVGI device uh, that according to our readings uh, is effective in meeting the UVGI standards uh, set in the scientific literature for uh, killing coronavirus. So the main features are, first of all, we have a flow-through uh, design. We imagine the, the box being installed with physical barrier coming out from either side so that you can have a physical block between a dirty side and a clean side. So imagine we're starting, uh, we're starting a batch on the dirty side. The operator will take our rack. Our rack is set up with hooks, right, where we can fit our N95 mass. For the size of bulb we're using, we can fit six mass at a time. So on our dirty side, our operator is going to load up our rack, put it in, close our cabinet. Our clean side operator is going to turn our machine on. We've installed a timer uh, preset with the timing of the cooks that we've calculated we need cook 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 okay lights go well while the while the cabinet uh, is is operating uh, we've got seals on our doors so we don't have uh, lots of UV light coming out uh, so we're, we're trying to think of the operators as well so our cook is now over clean side opens takes mass out takes clean masks out closes the door back then our dirty side can take the empty rack out uh, and fill it, uh, fill it back up again uh, and repeat the, repeat the process. We've got uh, small guides in the bottom and the top of our box to guide the mass, uh, to, sorry, to guide the rack where it needs to be located uh, right in the center uh, between our two bulbs. We've also got some corner pieces here which add some rigidity, but they also help us avoid putting a, ra a rack in there and, and smacking one of our bulbs and, uh, and potentially uh, damaging, damaging them. This design is scalable so that you can just add multiple cabinets sitting next to each other. You still only need two operators, but they can operate more boxes at once. Uh, if each uh, cook can do six mass, based on the readings we're going to show you in later details, we feel like we can do a batch of mass comfortably in five minutes. So that's uh, six mass every five minutes per one box. So that's 72 mass per hour for one box multiplied by however many boxes uh, you want to uh, put it. Okay. Our local fire department, uh, the Columbia Richland Fire Rescue, uh, is outfitting a trailer with multiple boxes. Their trailer has two doors on it, so you can have an input uh, from with, uh, with, with dirty coming in one side, physical barrier, clean output coming, uh, coming the other side. We can also incorporate vents in the top and bottom to get some airflow. One of the things that our uh, scientific expert uh, contacts have told us is that after a number of cooks, uh, mass might take on something of a burnt or singed odor. Uh, so they suggested we incorporate some ventilation. We cooked these two masks for 30 minutes last night, which was a really long time. Uh, and we put them on today after they aired out overnight and we didn't smell anything, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. We outfitted ours with our timer. We built uh, each box at a per box cost of approximately $200 using materials from a local building supply company, uh, but we mail ordered our UVC bulbs. So that's the functional overview. Uh, if this looks like it might work for you, then watch the next video. We'll give you some more technical specs.